Anyways, I'm gonna do a quick tier list today, guys. I'm trying to find one. Is there is there a thing I can do here? We're gonna put the music off for this because I wanna. I've been. If you guys aren't here, um, you guys haven't followed my YouTube. I'm gonna be putting guides out on the YouTube for season four. Um, I'm gonna be doing tier lists like this. Just. Now, these tier lists are, I am in no way 100% knowledgeable of next season because I haven't played it. This is me just speculating. Um, I feel like I could probably do pretty good. Um, I feel like I could probably do pretty good. Um guides and tutorials and certain things i think that's why sometimes like when i explain stuff i'm very very in-depth try to be at least and try to give you as much knowledge as i want to do a dps one um i think it's going to be fun let's just start off with blood okay do do we honestly do you guys do you, how do you guys feel about blood as a tank like, it's got so it's tier set for season four. Set bonus is hard strike and blood boil deal 10% increased damage and have a 5% chance to grant vampiric blood. I mean, I think that's pretty good, in my opinion. I think the hard strike, blood boil, increased damage. I don't think the class really needs a lot of damage. It, it does well in itself, pretty good for damage. When is blood not top tier and they get to pick their ideal bonus? Yeah, but like, I, I think like blood itself, I don't, the problem is, is that the class, the class drops easy when it comes to, I think for maybe on the raid side of things, I think, I think it's probably going to be really good. It's season two bonuses. Which was, so it'd be last season. I think with the Fryak weapon. Like, I mean, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to say, I'm going to say that blood itself is probably going to be, I'm saying it's going to be a, a plus at least. Like, I mean, I, I think, I think blood is just going to be a plus probably i'm guessing around the same for raid i don't know what your guys' opinion is on it for raid like i don't play blood as a main so i don't know 100 percent how it did this tier or last tier if for raid i thought it was pretty good last tier for raid but um so we got brew guardian as a healer, I don't pay attention to blood's tank health. Well, and that's the thing is like, yes, but that's, that's how any, that's how any, um, tank should be though. As a healer, you technically all tanks should be able to fend for themselves. That's just how it is. Um, kind of, you know, like think that, you know, no, their health will give you a freaking stroke. I mean, I could say that for vengeance too, dude. Like, I I know last season when I played vengeance, people were like, "What the hell is going on?" Like, you know, my health's jumping all over the place, right? Like, it's just the same thing. Okay, let's move on. Demon hunter, vengeance. Okay, so we're getting season three. So we're getting this season. So sets bonus two, when you attack the target of the sit, afflicted with a sigil of flame, your damage and healing are increased by 2%. Your stamina is increased by 2% for eight seconds, stacking up to five times. So fucking really, really, really good set bonus. <laughs> I correctly played DHS. DH is on the Kool-Aid. D. Yeah, I mean, we're more 
basing this on the best players, I think. Um, there's set bonus four. Um, Sigil of Flame periodic damage has a chance to flare up, shattering an additional soul fragment from the target, dealing a 75.9 of attack power, additional damage. Each 40 fury you spend reduces the cooldown by one second. So where are we going to put Vengeance? As a Vengeance main, I already knew where this was going to land. And the fact that Vengeance is not getting a nerf, it, it does, in my opinion, need a little bit of a nerf. Um... I'm just saying, like, I love the class. It's fucking, it, it's unbelievable right now. It's great. Demolishes. It's got, you know, you can take a talent where you're, you're playing 10 sigils per, like, it, it's, it's, it's just, the control is crazy. The fact that you can basically control a pack as a tank, you know, I could literally sit here and not tell a group, oh, no, don't kick. I got it all. Don't worry about it. I got it all. Like, all because of this one talent right here. Illuminated sigils. We get an extra sigil. It's it's crazy. Um, I, I, you know, and then they give us, like we did the soul crush with fractility builds. There's, there's so much ending. Like DH has like five builds right now. It's just, it's crazy. Um, personally, I think the class needs something like cycle of binding. It needs to, it needs to be nerfed a little bit to make it more on par so we don't get our schedules back as quick. Like maybe go down to like two seconds. Reduces the like maybe even one. So it's just something small. The talent might not even get taken then. And then it'll slow DHs down a little bit. So it puts us more on par with our standing classes, right? Like personally, Vengeance is going to be S tier next season. 100%. There's, there's no if, ands, or buts. If they don't do anything to the class from now to then. Um, today, it's the 12th of April. I don't see it coming. I think they'll try to make the other classes more even. There's a lot of mobs and a lot of stuff next season where there's going to be a shit ton of control. And Vengeance is going to shine. It, it will. 100%. But you guys can tell I'm a little more in tune with Vengeance, but we're going to skip on to the next. So we got Guardian. I knew Season 2 would come back. They were really, 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 really good in Season 2. Like, the Season 2 set bonus. Um, the two-piece, when you take damage, mangle and thrash and rage regeneration are increased by 15% for 8 seconds. You heal 6% of the damage taken over 8 seconds. They are going to be broken season four. I have a feeling. Are they going to be the most played tank? No, maybe. Never know. Like, I feel like they're definitely going to come back. They weren't around this season, but they are definitely going to come back this next season. Um, set bonus four, Raz and Maul. Careful, changes to the talent tree greatly affect them. It will not be as good as season two. I just, uh, like, well, how much have they actually been nerfed? Not a ton. The season two set bonus versus the season three is, it, it was way different. How nerfed though? What was exactly nerfed? Because I mean, even right now, you look at people like Squish Vegan. Squish Vegan, he's like one of the top. He's still playing it in competitively. Um, let's just say we go. Let's just go to Raider IO right now. We go. Druid tanks. He 
It's 3,900. There's 3,800 ones. There's 3,700s. There, it's very small. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think the class is necessarily... The fact that he's using season season three stuff and then he this is gonna come out and I think like he's still using the same build like Rage Sleeper, Ursox, which you know, there's that. You got your Incarn, Ray's like it's very much the same build. I I I honestly I think the speaking for myself, myself only, this is my opinions. I think that druid just because you know like it's set for raise them all damage increased 20 percent casting iron fur or raise them all increases your maximum health three percent like they're gonna be massive i think i think druids get me wrong i think druids are gonna be <sighs> i'm i'm torn like, I think maybe yes, maybe A. I think more A. I think they're going to be A tier. Like, definitely not as good as Vengeance, but, and probably, I think, going to see more play than they did this season. Um... All right, let's move on to the next. No evoker, no hunter, not today. We're looking at tanks. So Brewmaster, they went with series and three bonuses. I've never actually played this class. Never played Brew. Um, I've played Vengeance, Prop Pally. Uh, what else have I played? I played Blood. I have played that. I've played last season competitively i played um guardian bear I never played blue i don't know how this judging on from how many they were this season i think the class itself needs a bit of love um i think that you know like it might actually need like a bit of love it might need you know for us to bump it up a bit for you know like certain things like the healing is great on the class like i think that probably do 20 is fine but it, talking in a mythic plus um raid builds i think the class needs a little bit of help especially if they're going to go with this this season's bonuses could be wrong because there's a lot of strong trinkets there's a lot of strong rings and other things that are going to come back for this next season i think myself brew is probably going to be b tier that's my thoughts i think they're going to be b tier i think they're going to see play but just like this season not enough Okay, so let's talk about prop alley. So Avenger Shield grants you the closest ally of light, increasing your versatility by 6%. It's going to make it more tanky, a little more damage. Set bonus, casting Hammer of the Righteous. Blessed Hammer increases your parry by 5% for 10 seconds and extends... Yeah, I... <laughs> They were really good in season one. Um, I played it to 3k in season one. There's been a lot of changes with the class. Um, they did good season three. I don't know exactly how this is going to fall for season. Season four. I have a lot of good trinkets. They're gonna like hmm. They've got a lot of interrupts. Like I think I think they're gonna land A tier. I think so. I really do. I don't think they're gonna be S tier. I still I still think Vengeance is gonna have that slot.
Now, let's go with the last one. I'm guessing I haven't even actually looked at <laughs> this yet. Just an FYI, I haven't looked at any of the tiers. That's what we're getting. Um, This is my first, but my guess... Okay, so they went with season three. I thought they were going to go... When was Warrior really good? I thought Warrior was season one. Like protection. I thought Warrior was season one. It was really, really strong. But then they got the nerf. They ha like they went with season three bonuses. I think the class needs some love. If it was this season. Like I we go to Raider IO real quick. Just the they never got nerfed. Season one they did. Because Prop Valley became kind of ran over them in season one. Or is that what it was? Everything else got buffed up to their satisfaction. Like I don't think they're horrible. Like I think they probably, I think in my opinion, if I was a warrior and wanting to, wanting to vote, um, we haven't done any keys. They were all reverted. So as a warrior main Murph, where do you, where do you, I've never played warrior. Where do you think it's going to land in a, in a case of tier? Um, I think because they went with season three bonuses, it's the class, the class needs some love to kind of keep up to the A and S tier that I've made. I think, I think, you know, I was like, I was saying about brew brew needs a little bit of love. Um, I think prot warrior needs a little bit of love. Season three is good. Yeah, but th they were good, but they're, they're not as good as season one. So they, the choices that were taken was they went with season three. Brew's fantastic. It just, it does need love. I even heard Equinox t talking about it the other day. Like they were, they were really good, but they just weren't as good they need a little bit of love because they they're on the squishy side honestly like i think i think prop warrior itself it didn't fare well this season but this season i i find a lot of a lot of the tanks were the only one that was really straggling behind, you know, like if I was to take this for this season, I'd probably go like this. This is probably this season right here. But I think, you know, Bruce, I think you're probably looking around here. The prot probably the same as like this season i i honestly think there hasn't been enough changes to those two classes to see enough influence in season four where they're they're gonna shine i i really don't i think i think blizzard needs to do something where they get a little bit of a little bit of love to kind of bring all the tanks like right now this is how balanced the tanks are like they are going to come up a bit. Like, I honestly think like the B tiers, if they see a little bit of love, every tank could be really balanced. And it, like I said, if vengeance is a hair bit of a nerf, I think, uh, you know, every, every tank's going to kind of be on par. But I, I, I think this is what, you know, 
this is my thoughts of what the tier list is going to be. Take it or leave it. I, I, I think honestly, these guys see a little bit of a little bit of a buff. This guy, like I t said, we see a little bit of nerf on the sigil regeneration side. We can have a pretty balanced season, I think. But as it sits right now, this is kind of where I think things are going to be. Isn't blood S tier with Lego? S tier this season? Not really. I don't think. Next season? It's a toss up. Lego's still going to be played next season, but it's, it's, it's based on where the class sits it may it may sit more like this but i i still think based on the knowledge of like tanks i i still think that vengeance is gonna reign supreme over the other tanks it, putting it eight here isn't saying that it's bad it means it's really good it's just not the pick that everybody's going to pick next season. And it's, it's unfortunate, but like I said, vengeance needs a little bit of nerf. Prot needs a buff and brew needs a buff. And then all the classes will be very equal for next season. Anyways. That was just my tidbit. I wanted to do one um, so we can put some content out on YouTube. Uh, make sure you guys drop a link. Like, not a link. <laughs> Click that link. Drop a like. Drop a subscribe on YouTube. We're gonna be doing some guides, tech tips, all that kind of stuff. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood and